So as fun as it can be to theorize, especially in physics, it's really important that uh, we understand that physics is also really heavily um, an experimental subject or an experimental science, okay? So um, part of being a good physicist um, means you know, being able to conduct experiments properly and to deal with uh, uncertainties efficiently. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of how to deal with uncertainties. If we're just adding or subtracting two quantities, for example, if I have a bowl and then maybe a bowl full of water and I wanted to measure the mass of the water, um, I would just um, measure the mass of the bowl full of water first and then subtract that weight from the bowl by itself. Okay, so I might say that this is six plus or minus 0 0.5 kilograms and this is five plus or minus 0 0.5 kilograms. Okay, so if I was looking for just the mass of the water, then I would say that's six minus five, which is one kilogram. But how do I deal with the uncertainties? Well, if I'm just adding or subtracting two quantities, I can just add the absolute uncertainties together. So in this case, the absolute uncertainties for both quantities was 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So the uncertainty of the mass of the water is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 or one kilogram. Okay, so I'll say that the mass of the water is one plus or minus one kilogram. Bit of an unrealistic um, uncertainty there, um, but you get the idea. If we're adding or subtracting two values, we wanna add the absolute uncertainties. What about if we're multiplying or dividing? If we're multiplying something or dividing something, um, we have to add the relative uncertainties to one another. Okay, so the relative uncertainty is just the absolute uncertainty divided by the actual value. Okay, so for example, um, let's just say I'm trying to figure out the power in a circuit element. So I'm gonna use the equation IV. The current might be 3.5 plus or minus 0 0.5 amps, and the potential difference might be six plus or minus 0 0.5 volts, okay? So if I'm looking for the power, I can just multiply the current and the voltage. So I get current 3.5 times potential difference, six. Punch that into a calculator and I get 21 watts. But how do I calculate the uncertainties? I add the relative uncertainties from each of the two values. So the relative uncertainty for the current is just the absolute uncertainty over its value. So 0 0.5 over 3.5. And then I add that to the relative uncertainty for the voltage. So 0 0.5, the absolute uncertainty over the value. Okay, I add these two things together and I'm left with um, 19 over 84, okay? Normally I'd express that as a percentage. Um, so this is our relative uncertainty. Our answer for the power is that it's equal to 21 watts plus or minus 19 over 84 percent. Okay, but I don't like representing um, uncertainties in terms of their relative uncertainty. I like to give their absolute uncertainty. So to convert an uncertainty from relative to absolute, all we have to do is multiply the relative uncertainty by the actual value. So 19 over 84 times 21, we get 4.75. Okay? But for an uncertainty, we only want the appropriate number of significant figures, which in this case would just be one, right? because we want it to the last value, um, the last digit of the value. So I'll just say plus or minus five. So we're left with the power is equal to 21 plus or minus five watts. And uh, that's just a quick rundown of how to deal with uncertainties. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Yeah.